Greetings again, everyone. This is Pastor John from Napanee Baptist Church. It's Wednesday, September the 23rd, and it's great to be with you again. We're halfway through another week, and I'm trusting that you are staying close to the Lord, and you're in His Word, and you're praying as we, as a church family, are praying together for each of you, and we appreciate your prayers, too. And if you're someone who is new this morning uh, to our uh, time here, I just pray that uh, you would uh, open your heart and that you would respond to what God uh, will be teaching you through His Word. And we are having these little sessions just to encourage each other and to let the Word of God speak for itself. So we're just going to read Scripture together now, and we're doing a little series on the book of Philippians. So if you can turn in your Bibles to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, we're going to read verses 1 to 9. So let's read together. It says, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, for whom I love and long for my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. Verse 2, I plead with Yodia and I plead with Sinche to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you, my true companion, help these women since they have contended at my side in the cause of the gospel, along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers whose names are in the book of life. Verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned and received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. What a wonderful passage. And again, this is probably one of my favorite passages and all of scripture and I'm sure uh, many of you appreciate this passage. Um, I guess verse 6 stands out, a very familiar verse to some of us. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present a request to God. Well, on the surface that looks easier said than done. When we are anxious, when we're worried, when we are on edge, not sure what's going to happen next, especially at a time like this during a pandemic, uh, and yet we are assured that we don't have to be anxious because we have the Lord as our great resource. We can petition Him. We can pray to Him. We can be thankful no matter what our circumstance is. And then, of course, verse 7 uh, says it all. And the Apostle Paul says, And the peace of God, which surpasses or transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Why does he say it that way? Why does he say uh, God's peace will guard your hearts and your minds? Because that's where anxiety and worry and fear begin. It begins in our minds and our hearts. And God's peace, which is beyond our comprehension, beyond our understanding, is powerful enough to guard us and protect us and cause us not to worry. So I just pray that uh, these words and this encouragement will help you as you, we continue on together as we look to the Lord day after day during this difficult time. So may you be encouraged today and may you continue to look up 
I don't know specifically what you might be struggling with today or in your life, but I know that God can give us that wonderful peace, that peace that transcends and surpasses even our expectations or even our thinking. So God bless you today. And again, if you would like to contact me at the church, just go to our webpage, napanebaptist.com, and uh, get a hold of me. And I would uh, love to connect again. And uh, we just want, we're keeping our ministry going. We have our uh, virtual services, and we also have our public services now at the church. So we are in business, and we are... Uh, available and so we would appreciate uh, any contact with you so God bless you let's pray together and we'll just commit our day to the Lord once again Heavenly Father we come before you and we begin each prayer with an acknowledgement of who you are we want to do that in all of our prayers to know and realize in a fresh way that you are the living God you are the God of the universe. You are the one who has created all things. You are above all things. You are before all things. And you uphold all things. And we acknowledge that if we are praying to that kind of a God, that means you are able. And you can do the impossible. You can give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. So, Lord, I would pray that today that you would guard our hearts. Guard our hearts as a local church family, but then also as individuals. Because things come into our head and we are upset and we're disturbed and sometimes we're in turmoil with our thoughts. And so, Lord, I pray that you would protect us from that and you would help us to set our minds on you and to realize that you are the God who is the God of peace, and you have given us reconciliation with yourself through your son Jesus. That's why he went to the cross, to reconcile us to you. Help us to appreciate that and enjoy that every day, that we are uh, reconciled to the living God, that we don't have to struggle with you anymore. We don't have to be at war with you anymore. We can have your peace. And so, Lord, I pray that you would meet each need today that's represented here, that you would encourage each heart, that you would draw us close, that you would speak to us and illuminate our hearts. Help us to be in your word daily. Help us to be praying. Help us to be encouraging each other. We need each other as well during this time. So, Lord, I just want to commit this day to you. We thank you that you have been so faithful in our own personal lives and so faithful through this pandemic. And as a church, a local church family, you have been our rock and our refuge. And we give you praise today. We commit ourselves to you in the precious name of Jesus our Lord, that name that is above every name. And we give you praise and thanks for him. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Keep looking up, and we'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same place. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.